after World War II, beginning in 1946, the federal government acquired a, a plot of ground just to the north of Lambert Airport. It was just under 22 acres, and that became the formal site for disposition of waste from Mallinckrodt's production downtown um, for many years after that. The St. Louis Airport project site, or SLAPS, was bordered by James McDonald Boulevard, Banshee Road, and a small stream of water known as Coldwater Creek. Now it's important to know that waste materials, what we consider nuclear waste, wasn't necessarily defined in that way at the moment that it was created. Um, what most federal observers saw when they looked at the waste from uranium refining was a mineral-laced product that contained traces of uranium, traces of other minerals that might be valuable at some point in the future, and that's why they were stored instead of disposed of as something akin to, to trash or something unwanted. They would just throw the materials in the back of a truck and it would blow around and it wasn't necessarily covered. The trucks would be filled up, some was like, you know, radioactive dust, dirt, some was sludges, you know, wet stuff, different kinds of textures. But they took it out in dump trucks and the stuff flew off and that's why we have a lot of what they call vicinity properties between downtown and Saint, the St. Louis airport site. Stuff spilled all over the place onto the road. This material was really rich in this particular isotope, thorium-230, which has been well known. It was well known in the 1950s how dangerous it was because they said this is like handling plutonium. The piles, many of them reached 40 feet in height, 30 feet in height, and they would move the piles around the storage area with a cat earth mover, and it was separated from the surrounding landscape by a chain link fence. And Tens of thousands of barrels accumulated there, other unwanted material. And beyond the fact that there was a fence, beyond the fact that the site was attended, the disposition and, and monitoring of where wind and rain and runoff might be pushing pieces of these piles or traces of them, that wasn't really something that was a consideration. But waste may not have been limited to this small tract of land as airport workers watched trucks enter the south side of the property near the main terminal. First you'd be wondering what the people was doing down there in the middle of the night. Uh, they would come in the gate down at the, towards the east end of the airport, there was a gate down there. 